Hi Virgos, my name is Leticia and I am here with your astrological and tarot reading for the first half of May and uh, before we get started I'm going to just uh, invite our ancestors and spirit guides in. Dear ancestors, I thank you for being with me today as I conduct this uh, reading for Virgo. I ask you to speak to me, spirit guide ancestors speak to me clearly that I only speak truth. I ask that you would bring the Virgos who this message is for to this channel to hear this and that it be uplifting for them and that it would help them through the first half of May. All right, let's get started. So in the first half of May, of course, we have Uranus moving through the sign of Taurus for this. This is uh, in the area of uh, your ninth house, which has to do with your long distance travel, um, the things that you have believed. These cards are out. Things that you have believed. Things that you have held on to. Things that you have been taught through the patriarchy, okay, um, the ninth house, uh, religious beliefs, and so for you, the sun is there, the new moon is coming in on the 4th of May, so this is an opportunity for a reset for you in this area, the sun and moon there, and with Taurus in the ninth house, you are very stubborn about what it is that you believe, what it is that you were taught, what it is that you were trained. Uranus is has come in here and over the next seven years will shake all of that up, what it is that you believe. You will receive new information from different places, different people, and at the end you will come away um, with a whole new brand, a brand new set of beliefs. And so this new moon coming in here is, of course, bringing in a reset, giving you something different to consider about what it is that you know. It could be an opportunity for long-distance travel to come in for you as well. To aid in your... Uh, learning and ability to have and to hold a different way of believing. At the same time, we have the south node of the moon and uh, Saturn and Pluto sitting in your fifth house. The fifth house is the house of your children. It is the house that has to do with um, your creativity, uh, giving birth to a new child, it has to do with um, entrepreneurship. So where the south node of the moon is, sitting with Saturn and Pluto, is all about uh, releasing and shedding. So with that, if you are holding tight to your children and not wanting to let them go. This energy is coming in and changing the situation in such a way that the apron strings are being cut. That's the first card out. The apron strings are being cut where the child has felt suffocated, not able to fly, not able to be pushed out of the nest because you have held them so closely. It's bringing you in. This card keeps coming out. New changes, new are coming. New strength is coming. New strength is coming. If you were afraid of being an entrepreneur, 
starting that business. Saturn is there with the south node of the moon and causing you to stand up to those particular fears, facing them so that you could be able to be the entrepreneur. Or if you are already an entrepreneur and you have been holding on to this one particular type of business idea and been trying to make it work, but it is not working, the energy is here for you to release it and give birth anew. And give birth anew. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting on one more card. Is there anything you have to, else you have to say? Spirit and ancestors. What it is that you have believed, Ninth House, what it is that you have held on to so stubbornly, the things that you were taught to believe, have of course impacted what it was what it was that you believed that you could or could not create for yourself. And in turn, you have brought the same ideas to your children and your children have wanted to fly. They have wanted to fly but have not been able to because you were afraid for them. But they scream to be free. Your fears have affected them. For if you are the child, your parent transfer their fear to you and because of that you have felt unsafe there is a call there is a call to use the energy that controlling energy that has been experienced by this child to stand up on their own strength, on their own power, heal their wounds, lead out. This Queen of Wands is no joke at all. She is powerful. But when she uses her power to control another, to control the kids, to control the way that others believe, the result is fear. Here too is the emperor. Here too is the emperor. I see the child between these two. Feeling trapped, though what it was meant to be was safety for the child, the parents believed. All of this fire, all of this control. But the spirit of the child is burdened. The spirit of the child is burdened. Fifth house. Fifth house. Lots of movement child is got to get away, they feel. Got to go off to school because they feel overburdened. They feel that they cannot be heard. They are not heard. Within, they are screaming to own their own thoughts and their own feelings. But mother and father won't allow them to. This could be an adult. This doesn't have to be a child, if this is a grown person listening and this resonates with you, this may be how 
your child is feeling overwhelmed and, and burdened because they are not able to own their own thoughts, but if you act that way because you are afraid, you want to protect them. You want to protect them. So if you are a single mother or it doesn't matter, this energy is how the child is feeling enclosed. And if you are the child, you could be an adult, but you still feel this way that you are being trapped by what others believe you should be doing. They are crushing your energy. They are crushing your strength. But inside, you are feeling like a little child and you cannot get out and you cannot move. That's how you feel. The thoughts of the mother, the words that have been spoken, that have been said because she is so strong. But you have not been able to grow up within your own strength and walk in your own authority. But change is coming. Quick movement. Quick change is coming. The Eight of Wands. You are releasing yourself from this situation. Running away from that situation. Physically running away from the situation, not even mentally, moving out of mama's house, moving to a whole nother place, getting yourself out of that situation. Let me see. Would you clarify ancestors and universe, the eight of wands? Would you give us some more information on that? Getting away from it, feeling like you cannot take it that anymore. And if you are the parent, that these are the thoughts of your child who feel that over overburdened that their you as a parent are overbearing. Give us some more wisdom on this situation, spirit. This song is in my head. All I do is think about you. All I do is think about you. And that is on both sides. It is the parent always thinking about the child. It is the child always thinking about the parent. And here we have the lover's card. Here we have the lover's card. Ultimately, running away to join in a peaceful union with another. This child or you is running away from, it's like what the scripture says, Leaving mother and father. Leaving mother and father. And going to the person that they want to spend their life with. Joining in with this union. Running towards that. And the angels are with them. And the angels are with you. If this is you. And you are this child. That is... Leaving the overbearing uh, parent. It is for this purpose. So that you can find your soulmate. So that you can be with your partner that you love. So that you can find your place as an adult. Running towards this. Once you abandon once you leave childhood and childish thinking and being afraid and feeling like your thoughts aren't worth thinking and feeling like what you have to say is not worth having this is what is waiting for you on the other side once you stand up and cut the apron strings 
you cut them or you as a parent cut them. But there has to be some freedom here so that this can be the end result. I'm going to pull a oracle card for you, my dear Virgos. And Virgo, of course, is earth, practical, but mutable, changeable. And Virgos, of course, they have a lot of fears, a lot of nervous energy. And that's for sure what we see here. The thoughts and beliefs that have been placed on you. Are holding you in bondage. And you know. But on the other side. Once you free yourself from that. There is real love waiting for you. A partner waiting for you. That is blessed by the angels. The whole situation. Blessed by the angels. It takes standing up and growing up. Give away. It's a card. Give away. Give away what it was, what it is. Give away what you were holding on to. It's the same as shedding. Let it go. Give it away. Give it away from you. What is not working, the thoughts, the feelings, the pain, give it away. The fear, give it away. Give it away. Give it to God. Give it to God. Fear, if you are a parent, fear of letting your child go and them not being okay, give them away. Give them to God. Give them to the universe. They will be safe. They have to learn to walk on their own. The same God that protected you will protect them. Thank you for listening, Virgo. I'm Letitia. Enjoy your May, beginning of May.